हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कर्नल एस के ठाकुर आई एम अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट इन गैस्ट्रो एंट्रोलॉजी प्रैक्टिसिंग फ्रॉम साउथ दिल्ली द सब्जेक्ट दैट आई हैव चोजन फॉर माय पब्लिक अवेयरनेस टॉक इज ऑन अ वेरी बर्निंग एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एन ए एफ एल डी और नॉन एल्कोहलिक फैटी लिवर डिजीज वॉट डज दिस बेसिकली मीन it means that a certain amount of fat is present in every healthy liver but when the amount exceeds the minimum that is required for safety of the liver then the clinical manifestations of disease develop and it is called nafld as the amount of fat and the time for which the fat remains in the liver keeps on increasing it gives rise to inflammation in the liver which is abbreviated as nash also called non alcoholic steatohepatitis which is a progressive disease leading to chronic end stage liver disease also called fibrosis or cirrhosis liver what is the magnitude of the problem this is very important to understand and this is a very important clinical condition because it is a silent disease and a silent disease means any disease or any condition which is not producing any symptoms is very harmful for all of us because in the coming times and coming years the by the time symptoms appear it becomes too late to treat the disease because the condition becomes irreversible and therefore this condition today is also known as a pandemic of the future therefore with the introduction of fibro scan today we are screening our vulnerable population at an early stage with a view not to treat the disease but to prevent it to reach the end stage where the liver damage could occur and treatment may be required and in a recent study of the school going children in an urban population it was found that the incidence of non alcoholic fatty liver disease may be as high as 40 to 50% of our school going children so if you take this figure it just reflects the magnitude of the problem what is responsible for that it is our lifestyle and i think educating our patients making them aware of it is how we need to prevent this disease rather than treat it basically the most important thing we should all remember is what are the three or four most important conditions or the type of population that is prone to develop nfld the first and most important is obesity that is people who are overweight while they are being treated for their weight and other manifestations a check should be kept of the excessive fat deposition in the liver the second is diabetes mellitus and hence today the principle of practice of diabetologists is when anyone goes to them with diabetes not only do they focus on the management of diabetes they refer the case to their respective specialist to focus on the effect of fat in the liver which is progressive and hence diabetics need to be kept a very close watch on the third high risk population are those individuals who have dyslipidemia what does dyslipidemia mean it means that those individuals who have high blood cholesterol and triglycerides so to summarize the three risk factors are obesity diabetes and high triglycerides or dyslipidemia basically the mechanism here is insulin resistance and the fat keeps depositing in the liver and over the years harming it in one line i will just like to summarize what is the treatment the question is when we apprise our patients to come for a checkup and fatty liver is found is it a cause for concern no it is not a cause for concern it is a cause for awareness if i am aware of a problem i will be able to prevent it from progressing and hence we guide our population because this is a this is an urban problem and an urban problem means it's an educated population you just can't give them strict guidelines to be followed you've got to explain them what uh, the methods are to keep a check on the fat in the liver and hence 
this improves the compliance. The first and most important is check your body weight, which is done by controlling your diet, burning your calories. Regular exercise is the single most important factor which is there to keep and burning and mobilizing your fat from the liver. These are the most important things and the basic principle is that your intake of calories should be less and the burning of calories should be more. In other words, it requires a modification of lifestyle for the person whom you are labeling as non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Here I would like to say that we should not create any alarm for our patient. We should not give them any feeling that the condition is irreversible. You need to apprise the patient, you need to tell him the methods and a wise educated patient understands and follows your instructions. At the end of the talk, I would like to mention that our role as specialists in treating NAFLD is yes, you have to explain the patient the magnitude of the problem, you have to explain him where his liver is, you have to tell him lifestyle, but then there are certain medications which are available for us because we must understand and as we encourage our patients that control of body weight is not an overnight phenomenon. It is going to take weeks, months, many times years and in many cases it may not be an achievable target and hence during that time it is our duty to protect the liver from the harmful effects of fat and for that multiple medicines are available also deoxycholic acid is there vitamin e is there many other medicines which the specialist or your hepatologist will use depending on the indication so at the end i would like to say that it is wise for us good for all of us to know that there is a silent killer called non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. We need to look for it, we need to educate our patients and we need to prevent it and not allow it to reach a stage where symptoms develop and the condition becomes irreversible. Thank you very much.